what's small town life like for you? Do you enjoy it or you? Well, our house is out there in the woods, so it's not like we're even in this town at all. Yeah. My time is spent out on the road, so it's nice to come back to a non-populated area. My dad uh, had a diesel repair shop behind our house, so his place of business was right where we lived, and I started working for him at 10 years old for 25 cents an hour. November 16, 2006 was the day of my accident. It was a coolant leak, Caterpillar diesel engine. I was laying underneath it on my back, feet first, okay. with that big axle right there going right across the midsection of my body right here in front. He got up inside the truck. He ended up moving the steering wheel. The driver's side wheel is still on the ground. It was enough to shift that axle, and that's when the, the jacks shot out. So when the jacks slipped out, that big piece of metal holding that five, six tons away just came down and crushed me to smell. Blood shot up out of my body and landed next to my head. The pain was unbelievable on the inside. And on a scale of one to 10, it was a thousand. I looked down and that's when I saw that there was about one inch of space between the bottom of the axle and the cement. When they jacked it up off me, I began to free bleed and my spirit seemed like it went out through my head, left the top of my body, and I just watched the whole accident scene at that point from above at about 15 feet. I'd gone from having horrible, incredible pain to going in the ceiling in perfect peace. And all of a sudden I realized there are two humongous angels, white shining robes or emanating light, each leaned over with their hands in the middle where I was crushed flat in my body. There was a red-haired woman, her name's Shannon. She can't find a pulse, and they're saying that's two ladies passed. And that's when she starts doing this and saying, open your eyes, open your eyes. And next thing I know, my spirit came out of the ceiling and back into my body. Two hours and 40 minutes after the accident, Bruce was taken to a trauma hospital and was taken into surgery. The major artery to the small intestines was cut in half. He could have bled out. The surgeons found that most of his small intestines were injured and had to be removed. In the adult male, the small intestines are about 19 feet in length, but after surgery, Bruce only had a little over three feet. Bruce couldn't digest food and he had to be fed through IVs. I remember like crying at school and at bedtime and then I would just like sob and pray to God because I was told that dad would probably die and so I was just praying that God wouldn't take him. I remember different times where she'd come in and be praying, <laughs> she'd be praying asking God to save me. And I'd stay in the bathroom with the door closed and ask God to let me die. Because I was in so much pain and they said I wasn't gonna be normal. While I was in the hospital, I was on prayer chains around the whole United States. Bruce Carlson comes and prays for me. Two mornings in a row, he said around five o'clock in the morning, God woke him up and said, buy a plane ticket, fly to Wisconsin and pray for that guy, me, and God was gonna do a miracle started praying and then he reached over and put his palm on my forehead and he said, small intestine, I command you to supernaturally begin to go back in length in the name of Jesus. And when he did, it felt like electricity came out of his palm and went in my forehead so, so strong that it had like a, a sensation of like touching electric fence, like it snapped, like I heard an audible snap. It went like through my head and in my belly. And I said to him, man, it just felt like a snake came uncoiled inside my stomach. Very gradually, my weight started to go up. They did an upper GI, and they're checking out the small intestine. I have the small bowel x-ray report. Single contrast evaluation of the small bowel was performed. It appears that approximately one third of the small bowel remains. This x-ray report suggests that the small bowel lengthened so you've been a radiologist for 20 years. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. 
Have you ever heard of an intestine growing? Never. Never. Not through natural means. Right. What's gone is gone. Hmm. I'm not disabled at all. I never went on disability. Anything I could do before, I can do now. Physical activity, 100%. I have no shots. I don't take medicines. I'm not, I don't have any pain. The only thing that I've struggled with since the accident is a little bit of um, digestive issue. After I eat sometimes, my belly gets upset. That's the only thing. Other than that, I'm 100% healed. So I'm speaking about 165 times a year, so it averages about three times a week okay. that I'm out on the road speaking somewhere. We've had as many as 220 contacts to the ministry in a day between phone calls and emails, people wanting mm -hmm. prayer. So why do you think God let a truck fall on you? God in Romans 8, 28 says that he uh, makes good things come out of bad. We started this ministry, we see thousands of people every year saved. We see people healed, we see people delivered, all things that God has done and he makes good come out of those bad things.